What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Toco Graphics Pack 4.0, which I believe is the best graphics pack you can get for DaVinci Resolve, whether that's the free or paid for version because it works for both. So let's take a quick look at the preview and I'll see you guys in like five seconds. Pretty slick, isn't it? So you're probably wondering how much does something like this cost? Maybe you've downloaded some free ones or paid for ones in the past and you've gotten 30, 40, 50 elements. Well, with this one, you get 2,250. So do you pay 10 times the price? Actually, no, it's 69 bucks. And you get additional overlays and sound effects, plus an iPad installer, so you can use all these effects on the go. So before we dive into the install and how everything works inside DaVinci, big shout out to MotionCan for sponsoring this video. They were also kind enough to provide a couple free licenses for a giveaway. So if you wanna be eligible to win, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and mention the secret number down in the comments, which I'll reference later in the video. I can't make it too easy for you guys. So stay tuned, because we're gonna dive on in. All Alright guys, so we are now on the website and all of this is going to be in my video description down below. So if you want the link to the graphics pack, that's going to be there. If you want to have quick access to different chapters in this video, that's going to be there. So if you want to rewatch the intro, if you want to watch the install, that's all going to be there for reference later on. Let's jump into these reviews. So we got five stars, five stars, five stars. That's great. So what are these one star reviews about? And they're actually about the fonts. If you don't install the font properly, you're gonna get blank black screens. I ran into this issue myself. So in this video, I'll also address getting fonts properly loaded and installed on your computer so you are squared away from day one. I did want to touch on this licensing real quickly. Motion can mention there's a lot of confusion when it comes to this, so they clarified exactly what this is all about. The regular license is good for most people. So if you're like me, you're producing content for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, anything else like that, that's fine. When you'd want to use the extended license, it's going to be when you're getting paid up front. Let's say I'm making a commercial for a granola company. They're giving me 50K to make this video. That is when I'm going to want to go ahead and buy this extended extended license. But if I'm just producing stuff for social media, my own personal applications, that's fine. Regular license is good to go. All right, so enough about the website. Let's get into DaVinci Resolve and see it in action. The moment you've been waiting for, we are in DaVinci Resolve. Everything is installed, of which, by the way, it takes like three seconds because the installer, they made it super simple. You click it, you load it, you restart your computer, and then boom, it is here. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Oh, you just want to see it in action? Why didn't you say so? All right, guys, we're going to get started here. But first, as promised, the secret number to enter down in the comments to potentially win a free license. That number is going to be 2250, as in 2250 graphics elements. Obviously, some significance behind the number, but there it is. So drop that number in the comments, subscribe to my channel, and like this video, and you could potentially win yourself a free license. But with that being said, let's dive on in. We got some stuff loaded up, and let's show you guys everything that comes with this pack. So obviously, you know, again, 2250 elements, so I can't possibly show you every single one of them. But what I can do is show you how every single one of them works because they are all responsive and you can make most of your little edits right in this box right here. So anything to deal with the audio, the effects, transitions, this will all pop up here and you can modify every little aspect about these graphics and effects right here. So getting started, I have two 16 by nine elements. We have this Honda CRV. So we can go ahead and go into our video transitions, open this up. One other really nice thing about this is they went and organized this. So if I open the transitions, I can see all my flat transitions transitions, my camera transitions, my overlays, as well as in the titles, we can go ahead and drop that down. And now again, we can see them all laid out nice and clean so I can easily access them. I found if you drag this over just a little bit, it does allow them to be double stacked. So now we can see a lot more at a single glance. And what also is really helpful is if you open up the initial file that everything came with, we have this all preview section. If I double click that and open it, I now have access to everything right here. So instead of having to look and load one by one to see exactly what these are going to look like, I can now come in here, scroll around a little bit and just get a ton of ideas by scrolling around. Like if I wanna look at social media, I can double click into that. And now we can see here, well, maybe I could use this for a quick animation when I'm asking a question on my screen to give it a little more pop, whatever it might be. Uh, so depending on what you guys are creating, you may find different uses for this. But again, there's over 2,200 elements, so you shouldn't have an issue finding something that works for you. 
we can kind of click around, see what's going on. One thing I've been using on this video, and maybe you noticed, are these gradients. I wanted to see how they would work with me talking and if it would run smoothly, and they have, which is pretty cool. But let's get into it here. Let's say I wanna go ahead and add a title to this because we are doing a video for a Honda CRV. So let's go ahead and grab, this one looks pretty good. So I'll slap this guy right on top. We can go ahead and format it. So sizing is also adjustable. We can go through this now, take a peek and look that the sizing is gonna go ahead and open up the clip. We can have Honda CRV pop up here and then it's gonna go ahead and fade away. When it was longer, it will go ahead and extend the clip so it works with the longer format. So there we go, completely gone before the video is up. So in order to edit this, all we need to do is click it, go down to this box right here. And now we can go ahead and change this to Honda and then text box number two, we'll go to CRV. And if we wanna see this changing, we just have to find a spot on the clip where it's gonna go ahead and change. So there we have it. Maybe we want Honda on top, so we can go ahead and swap these around. We got Honda and then CRV here. And it just makes it super easy because we can adjust our size here. So if I want the font to be a little bit bigger, I can go ahead and do that. And then I just gotta reposition it back in place here. So I can go ahead and take this and move it down into place here. So text B, we wanna go ahead and move this back down, put it back over, which is super nice because you, you just drag this around and you find the exact fit for it. So now we wanna go ahead and move probably a little bit lower. And then we also wanna move CRV down a little bit so we can easily do that. And that's, that's it, we're done, it's good to go. We can drag this over here. And now we have a Honda CRV. It's gonna go ahead and look good. We can play it through, see what it looks like. There it is. Let's say we shoot some vertical video and we wanna go ahead and pop something like this on that. This also works for vertical video. So let's go ahead and drag one of these down in here. I got these clips off Pexels. So I'll just drop this here and we can go up to our file. We can go to project settings, change this to vertical video. So now we're 1080 by 1920. And this also works up to 4K. So it is scalable by resolution, timing, everything else is adjustable here. So let's go ahead and pop this title right here now. And all we'll really need to do with this is probably downscale it a little bit. So we can go to main settings and easily change this one to fit by main size, bring it down. And now it's perfect in place. And we just have to slide it over since it's kind of taking the effects of the other one. But if we started with this, it would work a little bit easier if we were shooting the whole thing in vertical. And there it is. So this is gonna have the exact same graphic, but now it's fully functional with vertical video, pretty slick. So let's show you guys a couple more here. If we switch this back to 16 by nine, we can drag this back down in here. And let's say instead of a title, I wanted to do a call out. So we can go down to our call out section and because the vehicle is kind of driving into the right side, it would be preferred to have a call out that has the little call out on the right. And Toko has thought of that. If we scroll down a little bit, we can find ones that have the little peg that pops out on the right hand side. So let's find one here. Let's just use this one as an example. We'll go ahead and grab that. We can pop it here, get it into position. And again, same way we can edit it, main settings, extra control, all in this box right here. So we can go ahead and adjust point B, make it a little taller, bring it back a little bit, and it's gonna go ahead and lock on. And then we can also go ahead and adjust our box size if we wanna make it a little smaller, if we wanna make it round, we can do that as well maybe some rounded corners, not so boxy, we could do that. And the whole thing just adjusts. So now we can go ahead and play this as the car is going by. And there it is, we have our nice call out. So you guys may have different ideas. You can apply tracking to this, depending on what you're filming, what your style of videos are going to be. They are all in here. We can go down the list. We have typography, we have backgrounds, we have social media, titles, big titles, lower thirds, kinetic titles, kinetic posters, interfaces, <laughs> gradients, one super cool thing actually is this, the devices. So if I were to go ahead and drop a device in here, let's go ahead and cut this so we can just get to the, get to the good stuff. I can go ahead and apply any video I want on top of this. So if I wanna have this car on this phone, all I need to do is open this Infusion page and trust me, it's not that difficult. It's really simple. For those of you who are afraid of using Fusion, all you really need to do, is double click this right here. It opens it up. Take the video you wanna display. So since we're on the phone, I'll just grab this one. You drop it on top of the placeholder, hit okay. And once it renders, it'll go ahead and do it. So we'll just give it a second here and there it is. So now we have our video on this phone display and we can go ahead and change the text back in this page. 
So we can go ahead and adjust this and you know, whatever you want to call it, it could be, I don't know what city this is. We could call it touring Chicago. If that's what it is, maybe, maybe not. I know Chicago has a river. Who knows what this is, but there it is. Now we have our video and it will actually play as we go along. And it's just super cool because how many elements can you get that do this? Not a lot. One other thing to mention is that in this graphics pack folder, you also have extra materials. If you open this up, you're gonna get glitch effects. So you can have your elements in here. We can look at additional elements and there is a ton of them. You can go back to monochrome elements. You have overlays, colorful overlays. These are all in here. And then we also get a ton of sound effects. So we can see bubbles, data, whooshes, clicks, bass, percussion, cinematic notifications, it is all in here. And these can be transferred into DaVinci Resolve as well. So not only do you get a ton of graphics, you get a bunch of sound effects that can go with these animations that just make everything, again, much, much easier. So with that, again, I can kind of double down on that. This probably is the best graphics pack you will find for $69. It doesn't really get any better than this. You can try the free ones and use those, but if you're using DaVinci Resolve for free and you add this in, you're getting a pretty powerful tool for 70 bucks. So if you wanna watch how to install the fonts in case you are running into that black screen, I am gonna tuck that at the end. You can watch that, make sure everything is good to go. But that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. There are so many elements in here and all of them just seem to work so, so well. I would highly recommend this pack to anyone getting started. If you run your videos from start to finish by yourself, you are the face of your channel. That is who this pack is built for. It's gonna make your workflow so much more seamless. All the links are gonna be in the description below. So if you wanna check it out, go ahead and click it, find it, enter the code down below, 2250 for your chance to win. And hopefully you guys liked the video, you found it helpful, informative, it gave you a little bit of insight on what this pack can really do. So give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys on the next one. All right guys, so installing the fonts, very, very simple, very, very easy to fix if you're getting that black screen. But if you're watching this, hopefully you never encountered that in the first place. Once you have the fonts installed, you're gonna see your six folders here, plus the additional folder. Make sure you click all of these links. They're gonna bring you to web pages to download these additional fonts. Once you do that, all you need to do is copy everything you see here. So highlight it, hit copy, and then what we'll do is go to our Macintosh HD. You should have it in your little location section here. We'll click that. We're gonna go to library. It's alphabetically sorted, so you can go find your F right here. I have mine pasted, but all you need to do, right click in here and then paste those items into here and you are set. All your fonts will be recognized by your system. So when you open DaVinci Resolve, that also works in there. And that's all there is to it, guys. Thanks again so much for watching. See ya.